welcome all my dear friends let us continue our journey in the world of ipr by a series of question sets of the patents act 1970 and the patents rules 2003 questions only can give us freedom from our mental cages so never stop questioning okay so with this beautiful thought let us continue our journey in the question series welcome all my dear friends a very good morning to all of you let us continue our journey in the world of patents here uh, till now we have discussed up to uh, form number 17 and all its relevant rules and sections so today is the turn for form number 18 okay so when we go for form number 18 its relevant sections and rules we have picked up that means uh, i got the common word uh, between uh, them that the key term is request for examination okay so uh, let us try to compare this uh, legal world or the key term of the legal world with a literary bent of mind just to uh, just a feel good factor friends nothing else so here look at this beautiful rose that has blossomed in the garden and uh, let us see just observe what happens yeah though the flower is so beautiful still it is glowing okay because uh, there is a competition we can say and uh, this particular rose has uh, sent a request for examination that means which flower will be awarded the number 1 okay so that's why though by uh, by default it is beautiful it is also trying to show its beauty in a a uh, more uh, effectful manner that's why it is great just a, just a literal comp uh, comparison nothing else uh, so let us proceed to our uh, uh, legal world where we will deal with form number 18 and its relevant rules and sections fine okay let us proceed friends form number 18 the title is request for examination of application for patent okay the related section is section 11b and the related rules are rule 20 and 24b exactly rule 20 sub rule 4 clause 2 and rule 24b sub rule 1 clause 1 okay so now we will go into a little deeper okay so what is the title for section 11b the title is request for examination okay and the title for rule number 20 is international applications designating or designating and electing india okay rule number 24b is examination of application okay so here we can very well see that the keyword here is examination you can see here examination here examination examination okay so we can say that the keyword here is the examination fine so this way we can just remember form 18 section 11b rule 20 and 24b okay so by simply uh keeping all this uh, related sections rules and the form in mind we can very well answer all the questions that that can be asked in any exam fine okay so friends after refreshing our memory from the old slides let us proceed with our question series question number 1 request for examination is the subject matter addressed in which section of the patent act 1970 the answer is section 11b so please refer section 11b of the patent act 1970 fine question number 2 no application for a patent shall be examined 
unless the applicant or any other interested person makes a request in the prescribed manner for such examination within the prescribed period. So, question is, what is the prescribed period here? The answer is 48 months. So, please refer section 11b, subsection 1, rule 24b, sub rule 1, uh, clause 1. And section 159, subsection 2, clause ID. Also, form number 18. Fine. So, friends, uh, what is rule number 24b? This is examination of application. Section 159 is power of central government to make rules. And form 18 is request for examination of application for patent. Fine. So, let us proceed. Question number 3. In case of an application in respect of a claim for a patent filed under subsection 2 of section 5, before the first day of January 2005, a request for its examination shall be made in the prescribed manner and within the prescribed period by the applicant or any other interested person. Now, the question is, is it true? Yes. The answer is, the statement is 100% true. Fine. For this, please refer section 11B of the Patents Act 1970 and also refer rule 24B, sub rule 1 and clause 2. What is rule 24B? That is the examination of application. Fine. Right? Now, question number 4. In case the applicant or any other interested person does not make a request for examination of the application for a patent within the period as specified under section 11B, subsection 1 or under section 11B, subsection 3, the application shall be treated as withdrawn by the applicant with fulfilling some criteria. So, is this statement true? Yes, the answer is 100% true. The statement is 100% true. Fine. And for this, please refer section 11B, subsection 3 of the Patent Act 1970. Form 29 is request for withdrawal of the application for patent. Fine. Question number 5. As per section 11B, subsection 3, clause 2. In a case where secrecy direction has been issued under section 35, the request for examination may be made within the prescribed period from the date of revocation of the secrecy direction. Now, the question is, is this statement true? The answer is yes. The statement is 100% true. For this, please refer section 11b, subsection 3 of the Patent Act 1970. What is section 35? This is secrecy directions relating to inventions relevant for defense purposes. Fine. Now, question number 6. The request for examination of application for patent shall be filed in which form? The answer is form 18. Uh, we can say the title for form number 18 is request for examination of application for patent. Fine. So, here also I have mentioned that I have here um, picked up the old slide and uh, that means the old picture I, and I have kept it here. So, please you can uh, just uh, uh, take a look at here to see the established relationship between form number 18, section 11b, rule 20 and 24b. Fine. Okay. Question number 7. International applications designating or designating and electing India is the subject matter addressed in which rule of the patents rules 2003? The answer is rule number 20. So, please refer rule 20 of the patents rules 2003. Question number 8. The time limit referred to in rule 20 sub rule 2 shall be 31 months from the priority date as referred to in article 2. Is it true? The answer is yes. The statement is 100% true. Okay. So, for this, please refer Rule 20, Sub Rule 4 of the Patents Rules 2003. And also, what is Article 2 of PCT or Article 2 of Patent Cooperation Treaty? The title is Definitions. Fine. Question number 9. We can link up which rule of the Patents Rules 2003 with, se with Section 7 of the Patents Act 1970? The answer is Rule 20. So, please refer rule number 20 of the Patents Rules 2003. Also, you can refer section 7 of the Patents Act 1970. Fine. Question number 10. Chapter 4 of the Patents Act 1970 bears the title Publication and Examination of Applications. What is the range of these sections? Answer is section starting from 11A and ending at 24. Okay. And the second question we can say is chapter 3 of the Patents Rules 2003 bears the title International Applications under PCT. What is the range of the rules? Answer is 
rule starting from 17 and ending at 23. So friends, please go through all the 10 questions uh, in this uh, uh, video lecture. And uh, also if you are getting stuck anywhere, please refer to the individual video lectures for section 11b, for rule 20 and rule 24b also that I have already uploaded. And still if you are getting any qu queries, please ask me in the comment box. Fine. Okay. Keep learning. Keep enjoying. The reference is Patents Act 1970 as amended by Amendment Act 2005 and the Patents Rules 2003 as amended by Amendment Rules 2021. Okay friends, thank you all for watching my video and listening to me. Okay, so please like, share and subscribe the channel and please put down your compliments, comments and queries in the comment box. Thank you. Uh, God bless you. Stay safe, stay blessed. Jai.